Okay, right. so uh, uh, right now uh, we have uh, like done what more changes to our previous diagrams, and and now we are uh, uh, getting into the operational patterns. And uh, though bear in mind that we uh, th these are kind of kind of rough drafts, and and uh, we'll, we'll um, uh, make more changes as to uh, to them before we turn it in. Yeah, okay. Um, so this is my operational pattern so far. Um, the feedback you see at the top will be deleted by the time we turn it in for Vudak. Um, the operational pattern is for add challenge to system. Uh, just as a general overview for the description, it's when an organizer wants to add a challenge and we are assuming that the given organizer ID will map to a valid and existing organizer. The activities list and prime for prize parameters will not be empty and the challenge ID is going to be auto-generated by the system. Um, and then we just quickly go over our inputs um, that we got based off of the one of our diagrams. Um, changes, we go over um, creating a new challenge type, new price type, new date type based off of the information that we have from the parameters, um, the associations that we're gonna need. We go over the messages that will be sent. Um, they're only sent to the organizers since that was the only actor we had for this scenario. Um, and then we have defined our conditions and our post um, just generally goes over the different conditions under which we will either be sending the organizer a message or we will be creating a successfully creating a new challenge object and adding it to the system. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to amount to something in this that's town, fun. you'll see. And I did a um, join team wherein a participant in a challenge who wants to join a team uh, associated with that challenge does so, um, assuming valid participant in challenge. Um, the, uh, the user will supply an access code um, moving through the control, um, the controls of the program. And we, we will have that if the access code is valid, then the participants may join the team. And if the access code is invalid, then they are given a message that they may not join and that they have an invalid access code. I have the operational pattern for create team. Essentially a participant creates a team for other participants to join. Um, the assumptions are listed there. Uh, it goes through and lists out the input, uh, what it reads from, the changes that are being made, uh, what messages are being sent from the system to the participant. And then here we talk about in post um, when there is valid information, rather valid data that is entered, and um, what happens when there is not valid data that is entered. The messages that get sent back and forth. Uh, once again, like Alvin stated, this is a rough draft, so there's still some things that need to be changes to it, changed to it. So that's what we have so far. And next, we have this communication diagram for our challenge to system, uh, and, and it, it basically goes over uh, what uh, what this function does. It's just with more. Uh, uh, functionality and what what gets sent and what, what variables are taken so that as a uh, challenge may be created for the system by this a particular organizer okay so this is a very rough um, sketch if you will of the communication diagram for create team it's based off of the system class model and the sequence diagram, as well as the operational pattern for create team. Um, right now, there's only a few connections that are being shown, but again, it is a rough, um, rough draft. So the final version will have all necessary connections, but basically the control class team management is going to um, get the challenge ID to locate the specific challenge. And likewise for team name access code and is private. All right, and that's about it. All right.